What are you doing here? Want to go to the park with me? I don't know. It's really late out, and my dad's on patrol. That's even better. We won't get caught. Anyway, it's too cold out. I'd rather stay in the house. Don't be such a baby. I'm not being a baby. I'm just obeying my father. Fine. I'm going to the park. You know where to find me. <laughs> Whatever. Things that make you feel you can't be forgiven. And I know you say. <laughs> Nice car. I really appreciate the ride. Can you drop me off at town? You don't talk much. Are you okay? And I kept hearing these weird noises. And then I felt like something was watching me. So I made it to the park, but the sound followed me. And I kept hearing the noises. And then something grabbed me. And then I couldn't move. And then I kept hearing this screeching. And I blacked out. And I woke up on the ground, and I just came here as fast as I could. Someone tried to kidnap you? I gotta tell my dad. No, don't tell your dad. He'll tell my parents, and then I'll get in trouble for sneaking out. Don't worry, he won't tell your parents, but I do have to tell him. Okay, you're right. You usually know best.
tell this guy to drive. stop sign in a residential area. How's it going tonight? I'm Sheriff Clark. I stopped you because you rode that stop sign. Hold on a second. Someone just tried to kidnap Michelle. I don't know who it was. She's in shock right now and really terrified. Okay. All right. I'll be right there. All right. All right, buddy. This is your lucky night. Go ahead and go. Watch those stop signs. Walking through the woods, and I kept hearing these noises, and then I heard them when I got to the park, and then I saw this figure. I need to know what it looked like. All I saw was a black cloak. Did you see his face? Not really. Okay. Well, the good thing is that you're not hurt, okay? This just happened at the park? Yes. Okay, I'm gonna head out to the park and see what I can find, okay? You stay here with Mandy. When I get back, I'm gonna take you to your parents. Okay. All right. All right. You two stay here, I'll be back. Don't answer the door for anyone. Wait till I get back. I didn't tell your dad, but I swear that thing in the cloak was an alien. You don't really believe in aliens, do you? Of course not, but that thing was inhuman. I'd never been so scared before. It tried to kill me. Well, you're safe here. My dad's a hero.
tonight. I think we all just need some rest. There was a monster in the house, Dad. There was a monster in the house. I saw it. There's no such thing as monsters, Mandy. I heard a noise, and then I went to check it out. The door was wide open. The door was locked. I unlocked the door when I came in. I kept hearing this, like, weird whisper, almost like a whispering noise in my ear or something. I can't really explain it. But I went to the kitchen, and then it was just standing there. I didn't really get a good look at it. I just saw that there was a black cloak, and I just got scared and ran to the bedroom as look, fast as I could. I think we all just need some rest. But Dad, I'm telling the truth. Michelle, I'm going to take you home. Mandy, you come with us. There's no such thing as monsters. Come on, girls. Please, Mr. Clark, can I just stay with y'all tonight? My mom's working overnight at the general store. That's fine. All right, you can stay here tonight. Just call your mother and let her know. And stop thinking about monsters. There's no such thing. Sheriff. Sheriff Clark. This is Mrs. Jones. I wanted to call you. Stanley. Okay, calm down, Mrs. Is Jones. Missing. On High Street. Stanley's uh, missing. How long has he been gone? He's been gone for four hours. Four hours. Well, let's just give it some time, Miss Jones, okay? Okay. Maybe he'll show back up in a little bit. I have to wait 24 hours to do a missing persons report. Hey, what's going on? I'm in the store, and I don't know where he could have went or what okay. could have happened. So I... If he doesn't come back, call me back. I'll go out, I'll find him. Right now, I'm the only law enforcement officer in the county. I have to get some rest. I've been out all day, all night. Yeah, you okay. Uh, I am being sympathetic. I do care. But if I don't get any rest, I won't be any good to I anybody. I was just worried and hoping he wasn't in that fire. A fire? Uh, yes, it was a fire. I didn't even get a call about a fire tonight. Uh, near the water. I, I could see it okay. from my window. All right. Check back in with me in the morning, okay? I'm sure he's going to show up. Okay, but if you find him, please okay. Take uh, care, bring Mr. him home. town. I need a break. You are watching WCB-TV News at Nine. Today's headline is going to be Lights in the sky, lights in the sky for two days. The state of Maine have had several claims of UFO sightings and lights in the sky. We will be taking a quick break. And when we return, we will dive into this investigation of the current UFO sightings and the explanation of the lights in the sky.
What are you doing out there, young lady? I heard a voice, and it was saying, help me, help me. So I went outside to check it out, and then I turned around the house, and I saw an alien. There was an alien it, out there. There is no such thing as aliens. It was calling me. It didn't sound threatening at all. More like it was sad, scared, and didn't know what to do. There's no such thing as aliens. Yeah, I know it sounds crazy, but it's true. There was an alien out there. And why didn't you come get me then? Who told you you could just go out of the house without asking me? Before what happened to your friend, those crazy people running around, anything could have happened to you. It didn't sound threatening. It sounded scared. Look, I know things have been hard since your mother passed away. But aliens? Come on now. I'm not crazy. I promise it was really there. We're not talking about it anymore. But it talked to me. Let's go get some rest and do not leave this house again without my permission. You got it? All right, it's bedtime. Let's go. Sheriff Clark. Who called the press to a tow truck scene? Have you found Stanley yet? How did you find out about Mr. Jones? It's a small town. There's no secrets in small towns. Look, I haven't even started the investigation yet. I'm still on the tow truck. They're in an uproar. They want answers. I don't care if they want answers. If I had answers, I'd give it to them. You gotta give me something. You're not my boss. Don't you have something better to do? I'm not trying to be your boss. I'll let you handle your job, take care of this tow truck, but you better give me a call so I can handle mine. You might want to move that vehicle unless you want to get impounded. Thank you, Sheriff. We'll get this back to the yard. All right, Scott. I'll see you later. Captain Wright. Hey, Captain. This is Sheriff Clark here at the Sheriff's Office. I had a few reports of maybe something crashing into the ocean or, I don't know, a boat on fire. Have you had any reports? No, we haven't had any calls for service in over a month. Can you do me a favor? Can you send a quick patrol around the pier and the surrounding area, look for any debris or any signs of a crash? Well, I'll get the boys together and send them out. Okay, I appreciate it. Hey, give me a holler back if you find something. Yes, sir. Okay. Goodbye. Thank you. You would not believe the day at school I had today. Mrs. Bumstead got onto me for falling asleep in class, but it wasn't my fault. I keep having nightmares about that alien. I just don't know what I'm gonna do. I've been too scared to tell my parents. Well, I actually talked to the alien and met it. What? 
I went outside in the middle of the night and it, it, it talked to me. It kept whispering inside my head. Like, I honestly don't know. I've never heard anything like it before. It showed me something. It, I kind of felt like, like I had fallen asleep, but then woken up again in a split second. It was weird, but it didn't really seem like the thing that I had met in my house. It didn't seem scary. I was scared at first, but I, I don't know. It wasn't threatening. What do you mean it wasn't threatening? It was an alien. It tried to kill me. Did you tell your dad? I did tell him, but he didn't <sighs> believe me. Parents never believe anything. You've got to get some proof or something. Yeah, I know, but how exactly do I get proof? Well, see if it left a clue, or if you can find a footprint. And if you find anything, then show it to your dad. I guess, but he probably still wouldn't believe me. Just accuse me of making it myself. What about you? Did you tell your parents what happened? Are you crazy? No way I haven't told them anything. I guess I better get inside and do my chores before my dad comes home tonight. Yeah, I'm gonna get home too. I don't want to be caught in the dark again. Make sure you lock your door. I've been making sure all my doors are locked. Same thing with the windows. Alright, I'll see you tomorrow after school. Show me on my cell phone. I'm gonna be out at the state park for a little bit.
call 911. 911, what's your emergency? Um, yes. I just saw someone dash across our yard in all black. I don't know who it was, but I just saw someone. Just stay inside, lock your door. What's your address, hon? Five Brewer Street. I'll have the sheriff come by immediately. I'm gonna send him right over. Thank you. The sheriff's here, Grandma. I'm gonna answer the door. Thanks for coming, Sheriff. I came as quick as I could. Are you two okay? Me and my grandma saw someone in a black cloak dart across our yard. A black cloak, okay. We didn't know who it was, and Grandma's still really scared right now. You two don't have to be scared anymore. I'm here now. I didn't see anything when I walked up. I'm gonna do an extra check around the perimeter, and if it's all clear, I'm gonna head back home for the night. But if you need me, you call me, and I'll get right back as fast as I can. Okay. Thank you. You two have a good night. I came as soon as I heard. What? Okay. Miss Anderson? Have you been listening to the scanner again? Guilty. Come on in. Well, have a seat. So, she saw a black cloak. You need to stop listening to the scanner. I came out to Miss Anderson's. No one was there. No signs of a black cloak. There was no prowler. There was nothing there. Hey, that's in my amendment rights, okay, buddy? I've been doing some research. I think it's aliens. Look, there's no such thing as aliens. I don't think you should be that skeptical. Can you and the town just give me five minutes to relax? I just got home, I just got changed. I'm trying to finish some paperwork and then here you come talking about aliens. What happened to Stanley? I don't know what happened to Stanley. Where's Magnar? Why was his car left there? I don't know what happened to Magnar. You were supposed to call me, and I told you I would be back. I had nothing to tell you. Why am I going to call you? Even if you don't have anything to report, you could at least give me a courtesy call to say you don't have anything to report. I investigated the beach, the woods, the park, nothing. The town needs to know. What do you plan on telling them? The town doesn't need to know. It's my discretion. I don't want the town to panic at all. If you're not going to tell anyone, what do you plan on doing about this? I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Starting tomorrow, no one's allowed out past 9 p.m. It's going to be a new county curfew. The only one out should be me. I'm going to go home. But I'm telling you, there are aliens. And aliens are here terrorizing this town. Whether you want to believe it or not. I told you! I told you! I Mandy, knew Mandy, what are you doing in here interrupting grown-ups? See, I told him. I knew aliens were here real. Here we go. Aliens. You believe me, right? Of course I do. There's no such thing as aliens. I don't want to hear this. We're not doing this, you two. What were you doing? Eavesdropping again, Mandy? Yes, I was eavesdropping, and I'm sorry for interrupting you two. Mandy, back to your room. I'll go to bed now. And you can leave. Good night, Miss Laura. Good night. I believe you. Okay, I'll leave. But don't expect me to leave you alone.
Sumner. Okay, never trust the press. All right, Laura, I read the article. Yeah. Tommy? Okay. Oh, you want to be enemies? Oh, how'd you like it? No, this is the sheriff. You know we've been best friends since high school. What, you didn't have your coffee okay. today? Well, look, I know you came from Texas, okay, but we're not corrupt up here. We're honest law enforcement. We don't just make up charges and go around arresting people. You need probable cause. And I don't care who my friends are, I won't get a judge to sign anything. Unless there's facts and evidence involved. You can't give me facts. What am I supposed to write about? I don't have anything, okay? Don't be I still don't know what happened to Stanley or Magnum. Why don't you be like a real man? I need to be a real man. Look, I'll show you who a real man is. I'm going to prove to you and the town that I'm going to take care of this issue and that the town is safe. Why aren't you eating? It's my fault mom died. What? Why would you think that? The night before she died, I had a dream. I saw her at the wheel. And I saw her, she fell asleep. And I saw the wreck. Her head was bleeding and I didn't say anything. If I would have told you, you wouldn't have let her go to work that night. She wouldn't have crashed. It's not your fault, it's mine. If I hadn't spent so many hours on the job, I would have been home more. I would have been here for her, I would have been helping her around the house. She wouldn't have been so tired. Look, I know I need to spend more time at the house and not so much time at work. But it's a small town. I have to protect the town and my family. And it's not that easy to be able to juggle both of those. And sometimes you lose others on the other side and Sometimes you're going to lose someone on this side and your family. Look, I made a call and I set up an appointment for both of us. We're going to head down to Portland and get some counseling. I think both of us need it. Well, I guess it's time to call it a night. Well, spoke too soon. I have to take this. Sheriff. This is Mike over at dispatch. We got a call coming in for you. I just had a curfew. No one out past 9 p.m. Yeah, I know. I know, but someone else is going missing, Sheriff. Another person. Yeah. Okay. Henry Stevens, sir. Okay, I was just having dinner with my daughter. Can you give me five minutes? I got a 101 4th Street. Okay, I'll be there. I know I just said I'm going to start being home more. But I have to go. Another person went missing. You're going to have to clean up. Go to bed by yourself tonight. Lock up. Wait till I get back. Don't enter the door. Don't go outside. Okay? I love you.
I hear you calling to me. I can understand you. Why do you keep coming to see me? How could I help you? So I'm the only one who can understand you. You mean, there's two of you. You're not the one killing everyone. I do no harm. I come in peace. Is this a good one? My ship crashed in the ocean. In the ocean? It, it crashed? That's what everybody was fussing about. That's what those lights in the sky were. I am here to stop the evil one. What do you want me to do? Follow me. But if you want me to follow you, you have to tell me where we're going. Trust me. Okay. I believe you can protect me. I trust you. We must leave soon. I'm ready to go, but we have to hurry before my dad gets back, because he doesn't believe in you, and if he saw you, he would kill you. I must destroy the evil one. And I need your help, because your mind is the only one he cannot control. Together, we can defeat him. Follow me. Mandy, I told that girl to stay in the house. What is she doing? Going in the woods. Mandy, Mandy. Shovel in my pickup. Come on. All right. We got a bury. Let me go see. You stay back here. All right. It's there. It's there.
She's gone. What do you mean she's gone? She's not here anymore. Well, where'd she go? She was only here to make sure the bad alien stopped. So, now do you believe in aliens? No. <laughs> I don't believe in aliens. We never had an alien. And the town is never gonna know. Okay. There were no aliens. No aliens. No aliens. I think we need to have a talk, Mandy. I read your book, Alien Whispers. You read my book? Uh, gosh, okay. Um, so what'd you think of it? First of all, we've had this talk many times before. Aliens are not real. They're not in the Bible, period. I've told you this a thousand times. If God created aliens, they'd be in the book of Genesis. Throughout creation, he gave us a description of everything he created. And he would have told us about aliens. I love you, but we need to use our talents for the Lord. We owe him that. He deserves that. He deserves the first fruits. He's given us these talents to use. And it gives us the air we breathe. I think we just need to focus more on him instead of aliens. But my science teacher at school said they're real and she gave us all these theories as to why they exist. I know school is gonna teach you things that I don't agree with and that aren't right. But in your heart, you just need to stand firm on where your stance truly is and what God thinks about that matter. So what? You want me to delete my book and never write fiction again? I've decided I'm going to let you publish your book. But there needs to be a few changes. I need you to take the drinking part out of your book. I've done some thinking. And it did make me feel bad that you put that I'm a drinker. And that's how I cope with my stress. I've decided to stop drinking. For God and for you. And on a lighter note, why did you say I had a bald head? Look at that hair. I didn't lose all my hair yet, so I need you to change that. Mm, I think you look much cooler with a bald head. And for your hard work and for taking correction, you can have a pet. <laughs> I'm going to take you down next week to pick out a puppy. Okay. Thanks. Love you. Love you too.
Dear Diary, This will be my last entry because I've come to the end of your pages. But is this really the end? I've come so far with you. I don't know what I would have done without you being here to hold all of my thoughts and feelings. The worst of my pain, fear, and despair. Writing to you has helped me through the darkest days of my life. Find them and kill them. Don't you see what's happening? There's death all around us! Well, maybe I'm just ready to die. We won't leave this forest until each child is burned at the stake. Take the mark now.